close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. If your mind wanders off, you don't have to follow the part that's wandering. You just stay here with the breath, and the wandering part will just disappear. If you follow it, it, it basically it gives reality to what you're chasing. But if you don't chase it, it just dissolves away. So it comes spinning out of the mind, just let it go, let it go, let it go. You stay right here, because you've got to get the mind firmly based, firmly established here in the present moment if you want to see what's going on in your mind. Otherwise you go off with all the centrifugal force of the thoughts going here, going there, to the past, the future, left, right, above, below, anything but right here. And when you're in a thought, you can't see how the thought's made. It's like being in a movie theater. If you just sit there and watch what's going on in the screen, you start getting into the events on the screen, even and you forget that it's just colors and lights flashed on the screen. You th begin to think there really are people there, and you begin to identify with them, and you begin to get caught up in the story. You don't really see what's going on. If you really want to see what's going on, go off and stand to the side. You see a whole room full of people and a beam of light flickering above their heads, and all these colors flashing on the screen, and the people laughing and crying and getting tense, getting excited. Because, because they give too much reality to what's on the screen, and they don't see what's going on. So learn how to look at your thoughts in the same way. It's just f flashes of color and light in your brain, words appearing in your brain. And that's it. And we tend to stitch them together and give them meaning and then get all excited about it. But what do we get out of it? Not as much as we'd like. There is no lure to all this, but there are a lot of drawbacks. The mind gets carried away and greed, aversion, and delusion step in. It can lead you to, doing, to do all kinds of unskillful things. So learn how to step back. And the breath is the place where you can step back. Make this your foundation. Make this your, as I say in time, make this your fortress. This is where you are protected. If the time comes to think, you can ask yourself, is it really worth thinking? Because one of the reasons we go after our thoughts is because they give us a little, little hit of pleasure, a little taste of pleasure. But if you get pleasure from the breath, then you don't have to be so hungry for whatever little bits and pieces of th pleasure you can get out of those thoughts. It's like a hummingbird I saw one time when we were camping on the Grand Canyon. Well, these tiny, tiny little wildflowers, and go and get a tiny, tiny sip, but it was flying all day, all day, all day, just to get those little sips, and you wondered if it was worth it. All the energy expended, as opposed to the little bit of energy that came from the flowers. What's well, the same with our thoughts? They give just little tiny bits, and it takes so much energy to follow them and to get involved with them. Whereas if you stay with the breath, there's a sense of continual pleasure. It doesn't require a lot of fabrication on the part of the mind. It's just there. All you have to do is learn how to tend to the breath and lengthen it when it's getting too short, shorten it when it's getting too long, make sure it's just right, not too deep, not too shallow, not too heavy, not too light. You have a much more reliable and continual source of pleasure, a much more re reliable source of nourishment for the mind. And that get, puts you in a better position so you can look at the thoughts that would ordinarily pull you away, the urges that would pull you away. And you realize, well, there's not much there. Why should I bother? You've changed the balance of power in the mind. So try to make this your default position. You're with the breath, you're in the body. You occupy the body fully with your awareness. This is your position of strength. 